Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I would like to give you an overview of Module 6 Electromagnetism, and in particular the fourth inquiry question, which deals with applications of electromagnetism. Now, a quick reminder, anything that I produce here will actually be available in a printable version, so you can access that via the link in the description below. Now the module is divided up into four key inquiry questions. The first deals with charges. In fact, the inquiry question says, what happens to stationary and moving charges when they interact with electric fields and magnetic fields? For summary, I'm just going to write electric fields and magnetic fields and charges. The next inquiry question basically says, under what circumstances is a force produced on a current bearing conductor in a magnetic field? In essence, it's the motor effect. The third inquiry question asks, how are electric and magnetic fields related? And in essence, what we will look at is the concept of electromagnetic induction. And the final question, how has the knowledge of the motor effect been applied to technological advances? And in essence, I'm going to be talking about applications. So those are our four key inquiry questions, and obviously I've simplified them in simple words just to save us the space here. I'm gonna examine those four key inquiry questions, and it's important for you to understand what those questions are, and that everything that we develop underneath it relates to that particular inquiry question. In the last section, the applications, we're specifically interested in the applications of two devices, the motor and the generator, and the first, aspect we look at is the simple DC motor. When you do the DC motor, you're looking at an application of the motor effect. So you need to be aware of the components. You need to be aware of the fact that we have a torque generated. And of course, the mathematical formula for this ends up being the torque is equal to NIA B sine theta, but then there is also a limitation to the motor effect, and that is the concept of back EMF, which in actual fact is actually related to the concept of electromagnetic induction. Then we also look at the concept of the induction motor, and related to that is also other forms of AC motors. Again, you need to be aware of how the motor effect and electromagnetic induction relate to the application of the induction motor. And then finally, we look at generators. And generators, in essence, are an application of electromagnetic induction. And how are generators produced? Again, we're looking at the components. And in this case, you're looking specifically at the principles at play when a generator actually works. So what's my one tip here for that aspect? Well, lots of times I've noticed HSC style questions that relate to the concept of graphical analysis of either DC motors and therefore the concept of torque versus time, or for example, looking at generators, whether it's AC or DC generators. And again, we're looking here at the EMF that's generated with respect to time. And I encourage you to make sure that you are familiar with what those graphs look like and how to interpret them. Well, I hope that it helps you understand this particular inquiry question and as it fits in the other inquiry questions within this particular module. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.